So he really turned down those other teams just to sign back with the Ravens practice squad? I ain't mad at it at all. Team Keep It Clean. Ravens have been making moves. They've been very busy. As you all already know, yesterday was cut down. They had to get down to 53. But just because they had to get down to 53 does not mean they were done right there. Because regular season roster still got to be formed and practice squad still got to be formed. And let's just talk about Melvin Gordon for a minute, who the Ravens signed this offseason. They signed him and he... He has some interesting words to say about J.K. Dobbins' situation, uh, but then preseason came and went. Melvin Gordon was cut. They kept Keaton Mitchell on the active roster. But it was said that the Ravens would be interested in possibly bringing Melvin Gordon back to the practice squad, and that's exactly what happened. But they weren't the only team interested in bringing him to their practice squad. They were not the only team interested. It, it was also, this is from Jordan Schultz. He said, I'm told the Vikings, the Dolphins, and the Colts all made calls about Melvin Gordon, but... He elected to stay with the Ravens and join their practice squad. So that says a lot about Melvin Gordon. That says a whole lot about Melvin Gordon. You know with the the Colts, you know all about their running back situation right now with Jonathan Taylor and all that drama that's going on. He's going to start the season on the physically unable to perform list. Melvin Gordon could have been like, oh, man, let me take advantage of that. Let me just slide on in there real quick. Uh, with the Dolphins, they just recently cut a running back. They've been looking at running backs and whatnot. They were very interested in Jonathan Taylor, so they obviously don't have all of the running backs that they want. He could have looked at that like, oh, you know what? Let me go down to Miami and play for them. And the Vikings, who just got rid of their guy at running back, Delvin, Delvin Cook, he could have been like, oh, man, they just got rid of him. I know they got Madison and whatnot, but you know what? I'm going to try to play there. But he didn't. He elected to come back to the Ravens, who have a J.K. Dobbins, who have a Gus Edwards, who have a Justice Hill, who have a Keegan Mitchell. Now, I wonder, I really wonder because Jeff Zrebic has continued to say that he expects Keaton Mitchell to go to injured reserve. So if he goes to injured reserve, he's going to miss a couple of games and then he will be eligible to come back anytime after that. I wonder if the Ravens told Melvin Gordon, like, look, Melvin, if you come back, you're going to have a little spot waiting for you. You have a spot sitting right there waiting for you. But I, I wonder, at the same time, with, uh, with Gus Edwards and his role and J.K. and Justice with his role on special teams and whatnot, I wonder if there will really be that much room for Melvin Gordon. But obviously, he didn't care much about what, how much room is there or how little room is there because he's back with the Baltimore Ravens, and I like it. Now, he was not the only person that signed today uh, to the practice squad. And we're going to go down to the practice squad uh, in a little bit. Also, they got back Daryl Worley. And Daryl Worley is somebody who really uh, stepped their game up throughout last year. I think Daryl Worley broke the NFL record for most transactions by one team and one player in a season because he was added to the practice squad, added to the active roster, released from the active roster, added to the practice squad, all over again like a million times last season. But now he's on the practice squad, so the Ravens have him. And you know the secondary has been... Whew, the state of the secondary is like uh, right now. That's the perfect way to explain it. Um, but Ravens also got some other guys on their practice squad. And let's clear that up. They signed uh, quarterback Anthony Brown. Uh, so he's in his second year. He's on a practice squad. Uh, so that's good for him. They also brought back, surprisingly, I was surprised at this one because I didn't think they were going to bring him back. Owen Wright. Owen Wright, the running back. Uh, I thought that it was going to be on the practice squad. It's going to be Melvin Gordon, and that was it at running back. I thought they were going to be done. But Ravens like, no, the more, the merrier. So that's a very interesting practice squad signing right there. Uh, they also brought back again Ben Mason. Uh, they've been keeping Ben Mason around for a while, so I don't know what that really says about Pat Ricard. I don't know what it says about Ben Mason, but they love them some Ben Mason. So, okay, hey, I ain't mad at it. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Uh, wide receiver Sean Ryan, who had an amazing first game uh, of the preseason the other day. Laquan Treadwell, who had a really nice touchdown catch uh, against the Bucks. Travis Vokalek, who a lot of people felt like could push for time on the active roster. I'm really surprised he didn't get scooped up. I was for sure that Travis Vokalek was going to get scooped up by somebody else. And if he gets on with him being on Ravens practice squad, I mean, I don't really see him being on there for too long. But I ain't mad that he's back. So, hey, the more the merrier. Uh, offensive lineman to Sean Manning, Tykeem Doss, defensive lineman, uh, Rayshard Nichols, who he was there last year too, I believe. Uh, outside linebacker Jeremiah Moon, inside linebacker Josh Ross, who was there last year as well, and defensive back Jeremy Lucian. And also uh, veteran center Sam Mustaford, uh, he's supposed to be signing to the practice squad as well. So Ravens have been busy. They've been busy. Right now on their practice squad, they have one spot left. Who that spot is going to go to? Welp, 
We'll keep you updated when we find out because we have no clue right now. But, you know, Ravens are going to fill that out very, very soon. Hey, maybe even by the time you see this video. But, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. I hope everything is going even better than you hope it is for yourself. I love you. Y'all keep your heads up, and we out.